Hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see. Let us see. All right, here we have King of Wands. Somebody is watching you like a hawk. Oh my God. Somebody is ready, looking, pouncing, like ready for some kind of weakness um, to happen to you. Like some kind of, here we have the here we have the King of Wands. Wow. See this person, this energy right here? It's a Leo that's watching you. Somebody is like really ready to pounce on you, like waiting, waiting for something to happen. But you have a guardian angel that's watching over you. It's making you super sensitive. And so please do not become the energy that's trying to attack you. Like don't attack other people because you're like, okay, I'm not sure who it is, who it is, who it is. Like somebody's trying to bring that out of you and you're in the light. You're divinely protected, uh, Sagittarius. So Whoever it is that's lurking, I, I don't know who around you is that energy, but that energy is waiting for you to show any kind of sign of weakness so they can pounce on you. So sources saying, get some rest. It could be a very bullying, very prideful energy. Get your rest and uh, that nightmare will be over soon, sooner than you think, because something is definitely waiting for you, you know, trying to, trying to cause you to be, to try to look like them right and it could actually mess up mess you up so be very um careful um here we have the empress card the star card the king of cups the four of cups the temperance card and the hermit card so source is saying you are good enough you are worthy you have two guardian angels actually here we have right here you have a man and a woman guardian angel watching over you and they tell you that you are good enough that you are valuable it's somebody's mom somebody's mom it could be somebody's mom could have transitioned somebody's mom is definitely watching over you and they're just telling you you can take care of yourself you can you can not not in a wild violent way like certain energies be like lurking trying to trying to attack you but they're trying to send you some fresh water like some fresh creativity that's going to wake you up from some kind of a nightmare and they're trying to tell you that every time you get stressed out this is the king of cups they're trying to tell you every time you get stressed out sagittarius go somewhere to do something that makes you feel nurtured so that you don't come across as a person that is looking at other people trying to pounce on their weaknesses okay so again, in this time, you're having an awakening, right? You're having an awakening. You could be having a light of dreams, light of downloads, light of nightmares about certain things, you know, coming through. But people are definitely trying to pounce on you, trying to see what kind of weakness. I'm telling you, don't do it to somebody else. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, and Princes of Pentacles. Because if so, no matter how much money you have, people will see you. And a lot of people don't care. Like, Oh, that person is ruthless, you know, such and such, because other people have been ruthless towards you. That'll, that'll, that actually creates people around you that you'll never trust anybody. And that's really no way to live because the moon right now is in Libra and Libra is, Libra is about being a peaceful warrior. It's one thing to be aware, but it's also the, the, a person that's at peace, right? Then we also have the nine of pentacles. This is like a person who has to start something in order to get some kind of, you know, attention, right? So high, high priestess energy came out twice. Somebody definitely came from high priestess energy. And that's somebody's part of somebody's gift, psychic gifts, those kind of things. It could be two loved ones that transition that's watching over you. Here we have the two of swords. It could be grandparents or parents or whomever. But they're telling you, take off the blindfolds and look how blessed and highly favored you are. But you also need those blindfolds off to see exactly what the energies around you that you can't trust. So it's not taken out on other people. You're not blowtorching the whole room because you got on blindfolds and can't see who's trying to hurt you. Sources saying, take the blindfolds off and deal with the direct issue. Because if it's coming out on certain other people, you could end up regretting it in the, on the long run. In the long run. That's where you hear people say, I can't trust anybody. I mean, I every time I'm nice to people, you can't trust anybody. Nobody has earned your trust. <laughs> And if they have earned your trust, did you obey source when source says, okay, your assignment was up in their life. It's time to move on. This is so anyway, here we have the ace of cups. So source is saying, learn how to protect your energy. Princes of pentacles. Source is saying, you know, somebody's going to be sitting real nice. I'm talking about man or woman going to be sitting real nice because you're in a very vulnerable position, but, and source is trying to make you very, very wealthy, but don't be the snake that somebody has trips. Like I said, snakes just kind of sit and wait. To see, you know, when you still, you're sitting there still, you just kind of, so here we have divine source. 
right? Help me know all my deepest, help me to know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you will be a part of a plan and right actions will come. You are my source for all. So this is where somebody put their hands together and start talking to source within. Source, help me, help me. I don't want to take certain things out on the wrong people just because I know that other energies are watching me trying to take me out of here. Trying to, now that you're in the light, act like it. You are not a wild animal. Because that, that's another way that somebody can take you out. Because if somebody has on blindfolds and you're in the light, so it's like balance spirituality with spirituality with practicality. Affirmations for productivity. I focus on product, projects aligned with my long-term goals. I move away from disturbances. I walk toward focus. I summon my attention to all that is crucial to my success. I take breaks to avoid burnout. I'm grateful for my work. I release tension. I allow my mind to flow into enter into a state of flow. Yep. Somebody is very, very highly spiritually gifted and you want to use those. That makes you super sensitive. And from a person who has a lot of spiritual gifts myself, <laughs> you got to have to learn how to get with self, like really, really like kind of isolate yourself, but not for the not, not isolation in an unhealthy way. You got to learn how to do things for yourself away from everybody else so that you can get those downloads process those downloads like there's a lot of journaling time there's a lot of time with self trying to process all go through all those memories those those messages that's trying to come out and so you are adaptable learn how to adapt to being in your feminine energy so flexibility is your forte when life throws you a curveball you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change be brave and bold in your endeavors that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. You all are going to be just fine. Like I said, that tower card source is just starting to alert you to what energies you really need to be paying attention to and not take it out on anybody that you just could be going through a weakness or going through death in the family or like real hard times, people attacking them. You don't want to be one of the ones that say, oh, now they weak. Let me jump on them. Like other people may have jumped on you. Source is saying to you, don't let that tower fall backwards on you. You want it to fall forward, away from you, right? You want it to fall away from you, not on you because karma doesn't miss anybody. So right now, the very energies that mistreated you or mishandled you when you were in your, when you were stumbling through your darkness, trying to find your light, they are actually going through a tower moment or their karma. Karma is not good or bad. You don't want to be a person that you are attacking people that is going through their, they're coming through their, they're coming into their own light and that, that tower actually ends up falling on you. Pay attention to energy. Energy is very, it's, everything is energy. This is where you want to get with source and say, source, show me what I'm not seeing. I don't want to, I don't want to bring negative karma back onto myself. I want to bring good, continue bringing good karma back onto myself because I want you to show me exactly who is ready to pounce and wait and just harm me in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It could be somebody you never even expected. Never even, never even, um, never even thought would do something. Because when you're in your wilderness, you can't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody. I'm in survival mode. You're no longer in survival mode. Now it's time for you to thrive. Take the blindfolds off. It's two energies in particular, and it's not the two that you think. That's what I have for you, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye.